Okay, it happens to be, believe it or not, Sunday afternoon uh, of February the 9th, 2014, which means... I'm not in the park either. Which means that uh, the months are going by fast, but this winter sure is brutal, my friend. Yeah, it's going to have another two days of brutality here. Yeah, we're talking about the, uh, what is they still call it, the polar vortex? I don't know what it is, but it's too dang cold. Climate change. Down here. Oh, it's extremely cold, man. We're in the teens or with the wind chill, you know, uh, a minus. And and, and, and and Georgia and Louisiana and everything, they got snow and ice and all this other crap all that. Well, you know, I'll tell you one thing. If one day, if if one day the snow, we had two blizzards this week. If if one day the snow is soft, and overnight the soft snow turns into solid ice, like an iceberg, you know it's damn cold. And now I, I am convinced, after chopping and chipping and digging solid ice, I am convinced, and that I I know why the Titanic was sunk. Hold on. The, f the friggin' furnace was quiet this whole time except when I, I went on the air. I swear, it's the Republicans with Beelzebub in, 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 as a tag team combination just to piss me off. But anyway, I am now I know why the Titanic was sunk by an iceberg. <clears throat> Ice is pretty tough stuff. It's pretty, it's, it's like one step above a rock. And if it's cold enough, it's probably equal to a rock. You know, I mean, it's really hard. I mean, when you think of water, okay, water is eight pounds per gallon. When that gets solid ice, when it becomes solid ice frozen, it, it, it shrinks in, in size. It expands. No, no, it contracts. It expands. It will blow out of a bottle. Oh, okay. Put a okay. bottle of water all right, all right. out there. So, in other words, <clears throat> but depending on the temperature, it can become like a rock. Because it goes through the, uh, you know, a gas, a solid, a liquid. Different forms. Yeah. Well, water alone is a powerful force. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Tide, uh, tsunamis, yeah, yeah, uh, floods. Yeah, but something has to to activate that. Yes, and, and it's a form like of an earthquake, a source of under energy. Under the sea, undersea earthquakes. Uh, oh, by the way, I hear uh, Great Britain is getting hammered by the worst storm. Didn't you see that ever. wave? It was like a tsunami. And the solid ice thingy. Holy shit! Who put that up there last night on Facebook? Oh, that was thirteen feet or that, something. What that that was, was that? eastern, the eastern side of the Great of Lake Michigan. Oh, up by Buffalo. No, no, Buffalo's on Lake the beginning of Lake Erie. We're talking the about of, we're Michigan. talking about the Michigan. Wait a minute. Yeah, the we're, we're talking about the west coast of Michigan. Ah, okay. Yeah, you see how high that was. Yep. 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 God, it looked like as high as a living room ceiling, for God's sakes. Yep. Like 10 feet. But anyway, I'm sorry that we, uh, we, you know, got off on this other subject. But uh, welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna. We're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeast New Jersey. And uh, usually we do the show on Saturday, but... I had problems with the ice getting my car out, but I'm here. You were stuck like that ship up there in the Arctic. What, was it an icebreaker? Because that doesn't sound no, right. No, but the icebreakers could not get to it. Really? They had several icebreakers, on one from Australia, one from here, there, and they failed in their mission. Is the but they helicoptered out the uh, non-people uh, of the ship. Well, what's going on in the Arctic? Uh, are the Republicans 
The right wingers are saying the ice sheet is growing faster than ever and the scientists and the liberals are saying the ice sheet is continuing to shrink. Well, that's what happens when you make factual things or etc. politics. Everybody has their own opinion. How could you make something that's proven scientific fact political? Because you don't want to sh uh, um, clean up factory smoke and or, or stuff like that. It's like it's like um, it's like with religion. No religious leader <clears throat> or religious organization has the right to stick their big Pinocchio nose into politics and 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 dictate politics. If that's the case, make them all pay taxes. Make the mega churches well, and the evangelists taxes, and Pat Robertson and all of them pay taxes. That sounds like taxes is some sort of punishment. Taxes are not punishment. Ta taxes are the price we pay for being rich. For civilization. For civilization. And the more money you make, civilized. and the more money you make, the more taxes you should pay. Well, that's how our system was set up. But, but, um, taxes, uh, but when you start mixing church and state, like I was listening to uh, Jesse Ventura on his new show called Off the Grid uh, on Aura TV, where Larry King happens to be. So I salute Jesse Ventura uh, for doing this new show now, Off the Grid, where nobody bothers him, nobody censors him. Nobody watches. <laughs> no, 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 no. This side, hey, he's got a couple hundred thousand likes on his new Facebook page. Yeah, so, cable, he, cable. so there's a lot of fans out there. So anyway, congratulations, Jesse Ventura. But he's to, he was talking about church and state. Mm -hmm. They have no business interfering. But they do. Look what they're doing because in they're, Because the Republicans, it fits into the Republican agenda. You know, what uh, they want to... Um, the Republicans are trying to mix church and state it's, it's somebody compared it to the Salem witch hunts during the 1600s. Exactly. It's a modern day Salem witch hunt when they go after abortion. Certain people, gay people, gays, gays, abortion, uh, uh, abortion issues, uh, gay marriage. Um, it could be anything they don't like, and they want to pass. They want to um, um, do things on behalf of God and pass judgment and punishment like and they don't know what they're talking about example the Michelle Bachman thing put up on Facebook oh, bubble the other day bubblehead Bachman where she said that uh, Jesus spoke English and that uh, 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 Jesus wrote stuff in the Bible he wrote the Bible the Bible came later. Well, you know why? Because in her church, I get, I bet you she has a Bible with whatever Jesus said in red, and she thinks he wrote it. You know what? Um, what a bubble and what a jerk! And people vote for these ignorant people. That's the amazing part. Well, first of all, I believe the um, individuals that put the information together to write the Bible, I believe they most likely came after the disciples were martyred. They might have came they, they might have came after the disciples died. So it wasn't even the disciples or Jesus that that put together the Bible. It, it was other early Christians. It was the Catholic Church. Then how did how did the um, the uh, the true Church of God end up with the accurate Bible if the Catholic Church originally slapped it together well because it was supposedly under the auspices of God how it was slapped together okay because I know to keep his red thread going I know Martin Luther is the first individual to bring the original Bible to the world the known world. What? Martin Luther. Martin Luther. The Bible is uh, Isaiah has been in existence for thousands of years. No, no. I mean, I mean, I mean. People were reading the Catholic version until Martin Luther came around, right? 
well, there was no, you know, Bible per se put uh, that uh, Martin Luther put at out. that time. He just put up the fact that there he found 95 mistakes. That many, huh? Well, there were many more than that, but he found 95 and made a complaint about it. And therefore, that's where the cat, the uh, Protestant Reformation began. Ah, in protest. In protest, yes. To what the Catholics were uh, stating. Yeah, Catholic. Like the, like the people up here in the, the, the Northeast or New York metro area. They say Catholic. Oh, I'm a Catholic. Yeah, Catholic. Salt lick. Anyway, let me formally uh, pipe aboard my uh, illustrious co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. I should have done this at the very beginning, but being that this show is unscripted, ad-libbed, unrehearsed, anything and everything goes, which is the way I like it, just like Jackie Gleason did the Honeymooners, right? It was like ad-libbed as they went along, I hear. I don't think everybody, he may have done that, well, but... Well, they had a theme. Yeah, but I'm saying, the other actors obviously read from the script. He may not have. Joyce Randolph, uh, Audrey Meadows, and... Norton. Um, Nor well, Norton. I think Norton might have added it along with Jack Gleason. Because his, uh, some of the words and the pronunciations were not exactly scripted. No. Anyway, let me pipe my partner, my co-host <laughs> aboard with my authentic bosun's whistle which can be heard on Star Trek when Kirk first entered the uh, the deck. You hear this sound? Captain on board. Yes. Uh, Captain on the deck, excuse right. me. Right. Welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship censored. The one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this weekend besides cold and frozen? Cold and frozen. I hope that didn't start, startle the dog. Well, we don't hear the little, little but bastard. She's not barking now. We don't hear the little bastard. But, you know, people that do not understand what we're doing, they will always not, not, not approve of this show. And there are plenty of them, including one person that works for the Newsletter Censored Research Center. All right. Let me begin. You like my luxurious uh, black scarf? Your boa? I call Raven. It's kind of like a boa, like the, the ones Jesse Ventura. You're going to dance, too? Like the ones that... Bring pole? Let me, let me finish what I was going to say. Like the ones that Hulk Hogan and Jesse Ventura wore. And I think superstar Billy Graham, I think, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let me begin. You sure Graham's still alive? Yes, everybody has him dead. He's alive, man. Oh, he okay. just had... Uh, it could, he had I heard I, something the other day. I don't know what No, it he had hip replacement surgery. And liver. And liver? His liver went kaput. Oh, dear. A, 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 a girl... A young girl who died, poor thing, died in a car accident is the one who donated... Uh, his liver. She she has his liver. No, so, he has her liver. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> he has her liver. Thank you. And it did not make him quiver. Because a quivering liver. Quivering liver, because uh, it must have been all the steroids he did. Because it does liver... Or the booze. It does liver damage. I don't know if he drank. I'm sure he did. Well, wrestlers like to party. Exactly. All right. I want to begin. And he wasn't known as any big nutrition, you know, guy. Well, when Hogan said, uh, say your prayers, do your training, and eat your vitamins, it wasn't vitamins that Hulk Hogan was eating. I'll tell you that much. What no, we'll leave eating? it at that. You mean he was eating substances which... Not quite legal. Both sports enhancement as well as recreational substances that the law is not too fond of. Let's mm -hmm. leave it at that. 
I see. All right, this is what I got through the mail, and then I'll tell you what I think. The post office, the United States post office, is uh, merely a click away. It's only a click away. Correct. It's a, it's a CD that you download on your computer. Mm -hmm. My take on this, and it, it's, uh, it, it, it allows you to do many things at home that you would normally do when you go to your local U.S. Oh, post office. My take on it is it's only an excuse for the Republicans in Washington to lay off more postal workers behind the counter. What, well, is you, what do you think however, about this? What do you think about In it? Europe, the post office does much more than here. I believe it. So that's uh, why can't our post office do things like that? You see that? You download on it. It says here uh, access. Yeah, you can make you can make stamps on your. Uh, well, they're good. Uh, you can print them out yeah. from your computer. Of course, it says it says one hundred dollar free. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you. One hundred dollar offer inside. Uh -huh. Then it says um, it says uh, the website is. So it's easy to remember. It's called uh, stamps.com. I don't know. I don't know why it's not called stamps.gov, because it's the U.S. Post Office. Unless they're trying to freaking privatize the whole thing. Who? The Republicans? They've been trying for that for years. All right. It says here access all the services of the U.S. Postal Service. U.S. Postal. USPS. USPS. Right from your computer. Uh -huh. Access all, I repeat, A-L-L, -L, all of uh, the services, uh -huh. which means they want a friggin' shit can, send the old pink slip. They want to lay off most of the postal workers except may, except the carriers or something, or, or the, uh, well, the, the, uh, the main hubs. The carriers, what they're trying to do, like... Sneaky uh, Republicans. See let's this? say in apartment buildings... They make a a, 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 a a box of boxes. Yeah. As your mailboxes. And then the mailman comes there and he throws everything in all the boxes. You don't have to give it individually to your apartment and etc. You mean I got to get my ass out in the cold and go get it? Some places, like they're a little more rural, yeah. you have to go to the post office to get it. Or you're going to have to. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they just want to keep on whittling away and cutting Well, they hate the fact that the post office has been working properly and Social Security working properly for all these years. There's no deal. The, well, not the you post office, they, no deal. But they don't like these things that actually work, that, you know, the Democrats uh, uh, were uh, uh, got into place and etc. They want the government to. They can't do anything. They, Don't you understand? They that? want to eliminate all government except the military, which they make a ton of money on. Yeah. They want to eliminate social services so the poor would die. You know, uh, actually, um, what is what is that banner I saw? I'm trying to think of the state that where where, where it takes place. Holy mackerel! There's a there's a state in the United States where. It, it is illegal for a homeless person to have a blanket wrapped around them. Floor, I think it's might be. I, is it a southern state? Yeah, it's a southern. It's state. definitely a southern state. What else is new? I think it's Florida. Um, it's it was in the, it was in the news. How insane and 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 ludicrous you is that? It. A homeless person can't. You hit it. A, Insane. A homeless person cannot feel comfortable when when they're on a uh, uh, sitting on a park bench and he feels chilly. They can't they can't have a blanket with them. He's supposed to go out and get a job. So they want them if they're homeless and they're cold. They're lazy. If they're homeless and they're cold, they want them to catch hypothermia and die. Right. Absolutely. You can't have a blanket. You can't wrap yourself in something. How crazy is that? Hey, you mentioned the Salem witch trials before. Right. That was crazy. Well, they have the poor in their sights. Oh, they do. So the uh, the war 
the class warfare does exist, but the poor did not start it. That's correct. You know, in southern states like uh, South Carolina, it's actually illegal to be homeless, period. Yeah, what was that? What, South Carolina? Wanted to move them uptown or whatever? They, well, they call them... Get them out of here. They call them uh, vagrants. Yeah, so get them out of that. You're loitering. If you're homeless, loitering. you're loitering. Loitering is like... Uh, Hanging out Hanging somewhere out, where you're not welcome. You're not wanted. You're not welcome, brother. Yeah. Well, that's 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 America <clears throat> today. You can't wrap yourself, yourself in a in freaking blanket. blanket. Oh, oh. What, what if you have a heavy coat on? Unless <clears throat> it's filled with smallpox. Like the uh, U.S. Army did to the Native Americans. And I got something to tell you about. Uh, I got some Native American story that I'm going to tell you right now uh, before I do my last reading here, before you know, the, we start the show. You know, everybody knows uh, the city of Miami, Miami, Florida. Okay? I, 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 I read some history that was not taught to me in school, Ugh. ever, recently, this past week. The name Miami, the word Miami is, in, is a Native American name for a tribe of, uh, of Native Americans that lived in the, in the Dade County, which is now Dade County area, in the Miami area. Okay, just like many, many cities and states are named after, uh, have Native American names. Okay, now, they, the U.S. Army, took, rounded up all the Miami uh, Indians, okay, by force, and sent them out of their homeland, out of the state of Florida, to Kansas, a reservation in Kansas, and guess what? Many of them froze to death, experience, experiencing their first winter on the reservation in Kansas. Gotta love the U.S. Army. They, well, you know, God, they, God gave us this land. They wanted the land. The, the U.S. government wanted the land in the area of Miami, Florida, so they, they stole it outright from under the Miami Indians, and they sent them by force, man, woman, and child. They rounded them up, and they shipped them completely out of Florida, to Kansas, where to an environment they froze they to death. Not, they could not. Uh, no, their ancestors. Their ancestors are from South Florida, a very subtropical or almost tropical region to a, to another area which has freezing cold winters, yeah. because yeah. the U.S. Yeah. Army wanted the land. Which was probably, hold on, which was probably sacred land that their ancestors lived in for centuries or maybe thousands of years. So they kicked them out by force. I just wanted to say that. Uh, I will. I, I also want to say hello to uh, Shawnee Harris, uh, a friend of mine. He's an Aborigine, a, a, a civil rights an anti-racism activist in uh, Western Australia and uh, I think he will be interested in hearing this story. There's a lot of things that American children never hear in the textbooks, in the history books in and, school. And a lot that they will never hear because the religious right-wing nuts have control of the textbook industry out of Texas. Oh really? Texas? They do not like to print anything about the Great Depression. Details. Details. Truth. Truth. You know, and truth. And, and what power. about the Industrial Revolution? Etc. All I heard in school was the Industrial Revolution was great. Absolutely. Great. I didn't hear. I didn't hear of any of the atrocities child labor and the greed and the, of J.P. Morgan and corruption, I never heard of I never heard of the story about 
the National Guard shooting the uh, the coal miners union. on strike. Yeah, union. Union. The union. I never heard about that. Yeah. But the, isn't it the taxpayers of America who pay for these lies in, in textbooks? Yeah, well, I guess they are the, or, or private. But the point is, they have their noses in it. They have the control of it. They're in control of it. Whoever pays for it, you, you don't stick your nose in history. You don't revise history. No, you leave it as is. The truth. History is has to be 100% truthful or it's not worth telling. That's correct. What did I hear about my the founding fathers? George Washington did not chop down the... No, he chopped, chopped down, down the, the cherry, cherry tree, tree, but he couldn't tell a lie. I didn't learn anything from that. Except for the fact that he didn't he didn't lie, he was an honest kid. But you know, when when the founding fathers said all men are created equal, what they really meant was uh, all rich white men were created equal. You had to be rich and white. That part I didn't learn as a child. And don't forget rich in those days in those days meant landowner. And slave and slave owner. Slave owner. They had slaves. Slave. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson had slaves. So it wasn't necessarily monetary wealth right. that they had, but it was real estate. Yeah. Acres. Because George Washington had the land, but he always had troubles with his finances. Was that Mount Vernon? Uh, Mount Vernon. Where was Mount Mount Vernon? Is it New York or New York? New York State. New York State. Okay. Uh, so some of them were in Virginia. Yes. Jeff, where was Jefferson? Jefferson is Monticello. Monticello, New York. New York. Did they talk like Foghorn and Leghorn when they had their plantation? I said, I said that, I said. No, they didn't, but some do. <laughs> okay, let me read this and then I'm done. Senator Mark Pryor, oh. Democrat from Arkansas. Interesting. A Democrat from Arkansas, Mark Pryor. Spelled capital P R Y O R, just in case you want to torment him. Yeah. Came out against increasing the minimum wage. Yeah. And he's a Democrat. He's yeah. a Democrat. His statement was quote, I know $10.10 an hour is still not a whole lot of money, but I think it's too much too fast. Unquote. Too much. Too fast? Uh, I guess when they stick it, I guess when the blue dog sellout, traitorous uh, blue dog conservative Democrats stick it to their voters, it's done very fast. Yeah, but why didn't you say something about it's too fast for the CEO and the profits for the corporation? How come a CEO's pay is not too much too fast? Yeah. Ah, and where was the comeback uh, of, the the media, of the media? Oh, and the, the media? other Democrats. Forget about it. They Why? paid the other day on the goddamn uh, farm bill. What? That? Uh, again, you're, you're democratic. I mean, no, no, they're not dummies. They're corrupt. Two-party system. This is proof that the two-party system is completely corrupt. Democrats voting with Republicans. Democrats that are corporatists. This is an outrage. But it happened. That's the problem. And there are still organet, like Facebook pages, that behave like the Democratic Party can do no wrong. They st all they promote is a Democrat information. They never say anything critical about any Democrat just Republicans, not realizing that your people are selling you out. Now I know why Jesse Ventura is against all political parties. I think he said that one of the founding fathers predicted that parties would cause a lot of trouble and be the downfall of America. Yes, they did. Might have been Thomas Jefferson. I believe it was James Madison. James not Madison? Sure, but I believe it. He, he, they were anti-political party. Well, they were for the first uh, couple of, well, yeah. George Washington and I believe uh, John Adams. And then Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson, there were 
the parties began. Well, also the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman is not too crazy about political parties either. Well, we don't want parties. These are parties. Yours truly, over parties here. Parties bring them with them ideologies. Or the ideologies or they are not based on fact. Or they require, or they 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 require. I should say they they desire. They bow down to uh, uh, ca uh, campaign contributions from the fat cats. The mula. The mula. That's what it becomes. They bow down to the mula. See, that's why. That's why if Jesse Ventura runs in 2016, if enough people want, desire him to be on the ballot, he says. First of all, I demand to be at all the debates, the televised debates. I demand to be there. And also, I don't, I need, he's going to hire, um, or Howard Stern is going to help raise money for his campaign because he does not want to take money from any uh, special interests or corporation. Yeah, but the Koch brothers will sell them out. They will give their money to the other side. Of course they'll give their money to the other side. And it will be too much. The, the money to the other side will, will always be there. It's like, it's like when Satan said to Jesus, the whole world can be yours if you bow down to me. Well, that's what people have been doing right along. That's what the Republicans, the, 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 the teabaggers do. They sell, they sell out, the Blue Dog Democrats sell out. So, you, you know, if you're wicked, you're, you won't have any problem raising money. I don't think money will be uh, an issue if you're a corrupt bastard. Obviously not. Part of the, part of all, the world. Look at all those bitter and uh, the, the, the guy with the wide stance in the bathroom, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They do some bad things, and blah, 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 and next thing you know, they're back in the limelight. Yeah, Especially if they're Republican. Infamy uh, ends up making them bigger stars than ever before. You know what they say? There's no such thing as bad publicity. Spotlight, spotlight, spotlight. Uh, I believe... Um, there was something... Oh, Chris Christie was uh, in even a little bit more hot water. Somebody, I think the um, the mayor of Fort Lee had some uh, information to, to disclose. Well, he was telling about how Christie and his boys and girls were trying to court him. Court him. Court him to, to uh, endorse Christie. Yeah. They were, they were uh, trying to... Uh, um, Christie wanted like, he didn't, he didn't want like a landslide. He wanted it, you know, everybody loves me. But he wanted to buy all his lovers. Uh, love me, approve of me, comply with me, obey me, and I will, I will reward you. And that's what he tried to do to the mayor of Fort Lee, New Jersey. So that's the latest of, of that, unless you have an article in there somewhere. But let us sink our teeth into these readings before break, before your lunch. And then, of course, we'll go to promo. Houston, Texas. A cruise ship is to set sail from a Houston area port two days after mm -hmm. returning from a cruise a day early with more than 180 ill passengers and crew aboard. Right. Now that's not the ship that came into Bayonne. This no. one is in Houston. Houston, okay. Which means it was uh, it was it arrived uh, via the Gulf of Mexico when it. Correct. It was sailing over there with the to Cozumel and. It's right. Simple. You have yeah. You have Cancun. You have Cozumel. You have the Caribbean, right? And in general, and back. then you have towns like uh, Corpus Christi and Galveston. The body of Christ. That's, well, th Corpus, that's what Corpus, Christi. Corpus Christi means. Correct. Corpus. 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 Yes. The Houston Chronicle reported Saturday that the Caribbean princess. Yeah. 
is to embark on a cruise of the Western Caribbean today, two days after its early return from a similar cruise. Princess Cruises had said the Caribbean Princess returned early Thursday because of a dense fog advisory. Well, I would be more concerned about storms. Uh, I not, guess the fog was pretty dense, right? Not because of an outbreak of vomiting and diarrhea. A spokeswoman for the United States Centers of Disease Control and Prevention said CDC investigators had found nothing unusual or unique about the Caribbean Princess illnesses as late as Friday. Oh, the, um... Nothing unusual about norovirus <laughs> affecting 180 people on a cruise ship? I, 180 people, I would say... And this is not the only cruise ship that gets affected. So I think it's quite too frequent lately. So, we see a pattern here, Dr. Bill. It's forming a pattern, is what you're saying. Well, no coincidental. Uh, uh, to me, it seems that situations uh, here, as you, as we were saying before about the moolah, it seems to me that uh, ho ho, they they don't care about the diseases and etc. And the people who get sick and everything just got to make that money for that cruise. Can't stop the cruise. Can't, can't return the, f the 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 ticket prices. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stop profit. That's correct very short-term attitude mm -hmm. especially for the people who get sick you like because my I'm, why didn't they, they ever find out what the hell starts this norovirus on these cruise ships that's an, that's even more intriguing ah. you like my new uh, medieval or middle ages rings very nice very, I look very kingly, right? A very, very King Arthurish. Oh my God! Make me more sophisticated than I already am with my, with my, 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 my raven black boa scarf. Anyway, continue. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Well, how, how the hell did we get to the norovirus? To his the nor no, the norovirus. Uh, well, there are there are many. Um, antibiotic resistant uh, pathogens that will uh, will uh, uh, rear rear their ugly heads in the end times. Well, but it's, yeah, but it seems to me they should be able to quell this stuff, find out what starts it, and make sure that doesn't happen on these ships. You're on. obviously something happens. Something on board brought it on board. Brought it on board, or it's there because they do something, or they don't do something. Yeah, like uh, 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 sanitation, proper sanitation. Correct, something of that nature. I mean, it's like it's like a surgeon going in there and don't wash his hands. Yeah, or like on uh, the episode of Seinfeld when Poppy was in the bathroom and yeah. uh, he didn't wash his hands, and he says, "Jenny, I'm going to make a, you and my and my uh, daughter a pizza pie, very special pizza." <laughs> Myself and he, he's like, yeah, right. He, he zips up and he doesn't wash his hands and he and then, and then of course Jerry didn't eat the pizza, uh, you know. But anyway, yeah, it, it, look, there's something called cross contamination. If for those of you that are in the food industry, for those of you that care, uh, that's probably the issue. Care, yeah. care, care. Just like with politicians. Because, for instance, yeah. Legionnaire's disease. Yes. They found out the cause. You don't hear about it too much anymore. No. Didn't I hear about it? Clean the goddamn it? air conditioner, uh, you know. Yeah, didn't I hear about it water originally, and? way back when? Didn't I hear about it in like uh, health spas with, with steam rooms and jacuzzis and. Yeah, wherever you got the. Uh, or whirlpools, know, yeah. Pools of stagnant water, and it's like the air conditioning. Heated, what you call it? heated yeah. water, that kind of stuff. Because a uh, 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 mold, which and is a goes, fungi, yeah. loves warm, moist environments. And then you blow it through the air. Bacteria loves warm, stagnant, moist environments. Mold and bacteria. 
Mm -hmm. The biggest study of its kind suggests that too much sugar can be deadly. Duh, no kidding. We've known that for decades. At least when it comes to fatal heart problems. Yes, yes, yes. The, the lesion in the arterial wall, uh, uh, which is uh, the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, is encouraged by uh, sugar. And it doesn't take long. Glycation, right? That, I mean, excuse me, it doesn't take all that much extra sugar no. to substantially raise that risk. Yeah, because uh, when LDL, bad cholesterol, rises, and, some, and quite often triglycerides, it's because of too much sugar, too much sugar in the, in the body, too much glucose. Something going on out there? Is Godzilla coming, or a Rodan, or a... Having a cinnamon roll... Sasquatches? ...with your morning coffee, a supersized sugary soda at lunch... Oh, gosh. ...and a scoop of ice cream after dinner... Soda is bad. ...triple your risk... Especially soda. ...of dying. What if... ...maturedly from heart problems compared with people who eat only foods with a little added sugar. Well, I, I've been using dehydrated uh, cane juice imported. Uh, uh, it's like a turbinado type of a sugar. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got all the nutrients in it, like molasses. I don't use any dehydrated... Well, some things have to be. Some things have to be um, palatable, like uh, whole grain. Even if it's organic whole grain cereals. You uh, put sugar on them? No, I use the uh, dehydrated uh, natural cane juice. But it's still sugar. But it's sugar with a lot of nutrients. In it. It's you know still I mean? sugar. Well, it's got to be. Isn't? I have to be able to get it down. Well, I, I never heard of putting sugar on. Uh, I mean, I could use. Dessert. I could use a lot of raisins, yeah. along, along with, with the cinnamon. Otherwise, I can't eat it. Now, the only other way. Well, maybe I can, you should change your diet. The only other way. That I can eat it is if I, I use uh, uh, butter. Butter will add flavor to a, a whole, but then again, well, there is no then again. Then again, yeah. butter is, is very is a really a very nutritious product, despite what the lies you've heard. Well, maybe you have to change. To something like egg, something substantial. No, it's substantial. If I if I cook a large bowl of quinoa or um, or uh, or a jasmine brown rice, cream of rice that I make. But myself. maybe you need to add some. Quality protein product to yeah. that. Did you know quinoa? Lasting quality. Did you know quinoa is equal to to meat and protein itself, or combined with something? All by itself, and it's got a lot of calcium. I will challenge that. More calcium than dairy products, and an equal amino acid protein profile to meat, believe it or not. And I, I, and I finally it. found red quinoa at, at a local uh, ethnic store, and I don't have to go to a health food store and pay through the nose for red quinoa. Even consuming two 12-ounce cans of soda... Mm -hmm. The main source of added sugar for American 
American adults, right. substantially increases your risk. Obesity caused by eating sugar didn't explain the link between sugary diets and death. Oh, really? That link was also found in normal weight people who ate lots of added sugar, often found in processed foods. Yeah, not to mention uh, uh, trans fats from hydrogenated oils. Scientists are not certain how sugar con con contributes, uh -huh. contributes, 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 contributes. Contraband, yeah. To deadly heart problems. Oh, man. But it, it has been shown to increase blood pressure and levels of unhealthy cholesterol and triglycerides. That's what I said before. LDL, low density lipoproteins. It also may increase signs of inflammation linked to heart disease. I've been I've been putting lotion on my hands and my hands have been getting still getting bone dry very dry weather from this horrible brutal winter we're having brutal yeah that's correct we have time for another one or we gonna we gotta cut for lunch okay we'll cut we for lunch well we'll, we'll have plenty of you don't have the discussion the sugar if that's ended. But the, the sugar is ended, right? The sugar is ended, but I don't know if the discussion is ended. Uh oh, okay. Sugar, uh, <coughs> people out there, of course, hold on. Of course, you're, you've been lied to. Uh, a, per, a per person who in, let's say a person is admitted in the cardiac section of a hospital in the United States and you get your food and lo and behold what's in your um, uh, your registered dietitian plan meal for a cardiac patient a lot of carbs and sugar and not even that much fiber at all, and uh, and low in protein, and it's just too many carbs, and often you have sweet things in there, and it's not a real healthy cardio meal. So what I'm trying to say is the established. Um, Medical uh, organizations in the United States, American Dietetics Association, are still demonizing all fat and giving sugar the uh, the green light, which most likely is all tied into the American toxic food. Industry. Perhaps. Well, what happens is when they when they take out the fat, what do you got left? Well, you don't have protein fat. Protein and carbs. You so don't have up the carbs. When you take the fats out of a natural food, you you also take out the fat soluble vitamins with essential fatty acids. And what do you have left? What you just said. What are, you, what are you going to replace the food right. with? And when they refine something, they also take away fiber. When and you, vitamins. And, and, the, and vitamins. And then they just, they take, like with uh, a, 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 a cereal, take out 26 
vitamins and minerals and replace the form with artificial crap. With synthetically created in a lab vitamins that are made from petroleum, believe it or not. Coal tar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coal tar. Yeah, coal tar. Yeah, I mean, um, like, I'll give you an example. Uh, the whole B complex, like Carlton Fredericks used to say to Lake Carlton Fredericks, whole B complex is probably the richest source is most likely brewer's yeast, he used to say. Okay, brewer's yeast will provide a rich source of whole B complex. Then you have synthetic B complex. Well, the whole B complex from nature in the brewer's yeast is a more biologically active than the synthetic one. But how you get around the synthetic B complex is you have to take high dosages of it. The potency, you know, the it has to be a mega dose. To, that's the theory to compensate for the lack of biological activity. Like if if you're taking panathenic acid, which is vitamin B5, or peroxidine, which is vitamin B6, you know, in the brewer's yeast, you might have a fraction of the amount in a synthetic capsule. Okay, so maybe you'll need 100 milligrams of B6 to equal the B6 in food. That's the theory. But the point is, you can buy today. You can get to, that's a that's an old. The B Brugis thing is old. It goes back to the eighties. Well, it's old. Today, it's old hat. Yeah. Yeah. The, today, uh, there are vitamin manufacturers who produce good vitamins, and there are other ones. Like, for instance, Centrum Silver. Yes, yeah, Centrum. Which has... What is it, the A to Z, they call it? Yeah, the A to Z. But, <laughs> but, their, but their E is a synthetic. You know what, what totally puts the shame for senior citizens Centrum Silver? What completely blows away Centrum Silver? Nature's way alive for people 50 years of age and over. They have a male formula and a female formula with lots of phytonutrients in there. I always trust Nature's way for any natural product for herbs. Definitely, is a great company. Uh, and hey, by the way, Swanson uh, uh, Swanson Vitamins just came out with a line of stem cell activating formulas. Look into that. I'm yes, going through my Swanson catalog right now. They just Lee Swanson announced. Okay. I saw it on the internet. The brand new line of stem cell activator formulas. And I read the one about the uh, re regenerating bone and cartilage. And I'm sure, and he says there are others. So it's uh, something to think about. Okay, we are going to break for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. And we will be back with our promo, our commercial, and then the show after promo. All right, yavo. Right. Yeah, 
Very invigorating so far to show. This has been a Megalife 21 production. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club? And after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost another argument with the conservative right-wing right Republican. Republican. He, he talked, talked over you. you. He screamed he and yelled. yelled. He brought he out the Bible. He thumped it. it. He quoted, he quoted scripture, scripture to you. And you were lost, lost because, because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing, Nothing but facts. facts. And, you and you expected that that would, uh, that would make, make you look, look good. good. That, that would make you win the argument, argument. but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with the right-wing conservative uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest-hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club, and after they have your big annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises, then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. So you lost another argument with the conservative right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were, you were lost, lost because, because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing, Nothing but facts. facts. And, and you expected, expected that that would, uh, that, would that would make you look good. good. That, that would make you win the argument, argument but it didn't. didn't. You know you why you lost, lost the argument? argument? You, know you know why you're, you're going to lose your next argument? argument? Because you don't, you don't read censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored. That's all you need. Read it. And defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization. Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in 
in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Okay, we are back from promo. And just like promo says, the best way to join our organization and be a part of our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. Go there now, newslettercensored.com. Um, I want to say hi to the uh, successful Facebook group, Progressive Discussions, named after the show, as well as the uh, Facebook page, Progressive Discussions, also named after the show. Uh, we're right now on the, um, the Mega Life 21 hard hitting progressive internet talk radio station. Uh, today is Sunday, so today is The God Project is playing right now. Dr. Bill, The God, the God Project by yourself is playing. And um, for people on the internet, that want to listen to any God Project, all they have to do is click on the YouTube uh, playlist and just choose any topic they wish to listen to on demand. And they can hear what the Bible really has to say, not what zealot, right wing fundamentalist, counterfeit Christians say about. Bible and Michelle Bachman and Michelle Bubblehead Bachman. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know, a lot of people, you know, how uh, some of these sycophant liberals, the women came to her rescue, they felt that we were too harsh on her, and I got suspicious that they might be trolls, they might be be right-wing trolls in disguise to slither in and bring down our morale, perhaps. You can't because bring down the morale of somebody who is... It's not working, though. The truth. It's not working, though. They're, they're, what they're doing is not working. Maybe, maybe these trolls target very large groups because somebody told me Having 750 or, or 800 members of a group puts you into a large, large group category. They have... The right wing has hirelings on the internet who change things like in Wikipedia. But fight with the people, etc. Et but, et but do these hirelings? Do, do these hirelings know they're spreading lies? There was a woman who, you know, how they uh, the companies ask you for a review. Yep. Well, she used to do reviews. Really? And never used the product. Oh, really? Yeah. So she's a fake phony and a fraud. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, so are those people. You know, and, 
and the and the people that do that hire the trolls, they also know it's a lie, mm -hmm. and uh, they pro they probably uh, go through all the trouble of doing what they do for the sake of profit, money. Well, those hirelings do, but other people use, uh, you know, it's, it's their ideology. They're just that dumb. Like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Miss, you betcha? You betcha? Drill, 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 drill! You betcha, you betcha! Yeah, speaking of, uh, the idiot Sarah Palin, who, who, Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman and, uh, Elizabeth Hasselbitch, or Hasselbeck, they're only good for one thing, doing MILF porn, because when they open their mouth, they are, uh, <laughs> They just shouldn't be in politics. Let's put it that way. Well, they shouldn't be anywhere that requires the truth. They should not be in the media because yeah. they're they're insane. They're stupid. They don't know what they're talking about, and they spread lies. That's the problem. And this is all I hear when they open their mouth. doesn't make any sense when these, uh, the conservative coven of witches, the Fox News babes, as they call them, uh, speak. Uh, what, what is this other blonde, waspy, uh, dope, uh, Ingr Ingraham? Ingraham? Laura Ingram. Laura, Ing Laura Ingram? Yeah. And, uh, there's another one who can't even Monica Crowley? Crowley. Oh no, yeah, there's another one that spells her first name really in improper. Megan Kelly. Megan. She spells it M E G Y N. It doesn't even know how to spell Megan well, properly. Maybe that's how her mother gave it to her. Yeah, well, then her mother's an idiot. Megan she is. wanted to be. Uh, no, it's not a it's not a proper uh, name, uh, English name. It's supposed to be capital M E A G A N. Well, some put her name. In. See, some have a different. Wait a minute, Megan. Megan on the, in the books is is M E G A N. G A N. Anyway, the conservative coven of witches is growing. Yeah. And what about that sellout? Um, uh, what's this? Is Michelle Malkin from Hawaii, that Philippine, Malcolm, yeah. that Philippine girl who is a disgrace to her own Philippine people because the Philippine people are poor. And uh, everything she's about is totally the opposite of what's good for her own people. Well, what about Mr. We were speaking about sugar before. Corporatists. Yeah. Mr. Al Franken, whose number one supporter is the sugar industry. He sold that out. Al Franken actually sold out. Holy crap. Al Franken, the guy who was on Air America, attacking conservatives and Republicans, the man who had, had these all, all these books that he wrote against Rush Limbaugh and against Republicans, is 
being supported by the sugar industry? Yeah! Now, Franken, you don't know, but you you are in the uh, um, the Chisler's Hall of Shame this week. And uh, so is so are the Republicans for putting out that U.S. Post Office uh, CD. They're in the Chisler's Hall of Shame. What else did we talk about? Oh, uh, from Arkansas, a Democratic Senator from Arkansas. Mr. Pryor. Not Richard Pryor. The no, I'm Richard Lake Pryor. Lake Comedian. Yeah, Senator Pryor. You are in the Chisler's Hall of Shame as well. So we have a lot of inductees this week. But let us... Um, I mentioned. I mentioned some other scoundrels. I know it. Well, there's uh, plenty of scoundrels at the mentioned. beginning of the show. There's plenty of inductees for the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Um. All right. Let us sink our teeth back into these readings. The U.S. government has spent billions of dollars. Trying to save more than 1,500 animal and plant species listed as endangered or threatened. Are oh, they really? A group of 13 House Republicans. Oh, forget about that. Forget about the animals. Then say that has translated into. Just two percent of protected species taken off the list. They, they, they called on Tuesday for an overhaul to the 1973 Endangered Species Act. Yeah, they want to over. They want to get rid of it. I bet. Giving states more authority over imperiled species and limiting litigation from wildlife advocates. They want to shrink government, see? Environmentalists credit the act with saving species from extinction and say that hundreds more are on the path to recovery. Well, they are. The Endangered Species Act enjoys fervent support among many environmentalists whose democratic uh, allies on Capitol Hill have thwarted past proposals for change. Here's a look at some five species and how they have fared since being added to the list. Mm -hmm. The grizzly bear. I didn't know they were in danger. Grizzlies were listed as threatened in the lower 48 states in 1975. Well, I don't really want grizzlies in my neighborhood. <laughs> After being nearly wiped out. Where did the grizzlies exist originally? I mean, what territory did they have? Um, but the Bruins have been coming back, particularly in and around Yellowstone National Park, where they number more than 700. Well, that's um, my, my the, the corner of Montana, Wyoming. Um, Four corners? The, the, yeah, maybe the, the, the North Dakota. Or maybe South Dakota, or rather, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, well, they, they, they're around there, too. Uh, some people from, person from Minnesota told me they were, they were seen in northern Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, usually. I hope they, not in your backyard. No, no, northern Minnesota is <laughs> like, um, 
very um, wilderness wilderness uh, environment. Uh, you know, timber. Usually, you see you find timber wolves where the grizzlies are, and you know, caribou and things like that. The grizzlies are doing so well that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is considering removing federal protections for the Yellowstone grizzlies in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. So, what does that mean? That uh, hunters um, who want to shoot them can do that? I do not think they allow that normally in Yellowstone. No, it's a national Maybe park. if there's an overcrowding or something, they yeah, might yeah. have a special hunt right, or something. Right. But like, normally, like, I do not think they allow that. Well, them. like uh, an animal that was... In, poaching. An animal that used to be endangered, there's now too many of them, the uh, American alligator. It's too many. Of them now, you know, and uh, if you get in, if you get in front of an alligator, like between an alligator and water, you better watch the job. <laughs> that sucker is going to go right through you to get to the water, or he might go from yeah. the shore of the lake right to you to drag you in and drown you. They, they showed a, a, a Duck Dynasty episode where the alligator was in, in Phil's backyard. Anywhere there's fresh water, there could be a gator down there. Uh, you also have um, uh, European wild boar that were brought here for hunting purposes, for sports, sport of hunting, and hog hunters. Now there's too many. They they just multiply like like rats, and there's this there's, there's a it's an invasive species. There's just way too many wild boar. So now they have like a open season hunting. But I would love to have roast wild boar. But scientists warn against it, saying... Not a boring dinner at all. Hold on. I'm going to properly ring my, my levity bells. Old-fashioned jingle bells. All right. The saying... Climate change has devastated the white bark pine trees that provide a key food source for the bears. Huh? You said white bark bark pine trees? Pine trees. They what? eat the pine trees? What do they eat? Maybe the pine cones? I don't know. Another 1,000 grizzlies live outside the Yellowstone area, while 30,000 of the bears in Alaska have never been listed as threat. Well, they're, wow, 30,000, they're huge. The, the, the Alaskan brown bear, grizzly, I think they're, they're the largest of, of all. Brown bears in Alaska. They're doing quite well up there. The gray wolf. More than 6,000 gray wolves roam the lower 48 states after they were wiped out in the northern Rockies. And only a small population was left in the Great Lakes by the mid-1990s. 
The federal government spent more than $100 million on wolf recovery. And the Fish and Wildlife Service has proposed removing the predator from the endangered list across most of the United States. Despite the rebound, environmentalists <coughs> point out the drop in wolf numbers in the northern Rockies after Congress lifted federal protections there in 2011. Since then, the population numbers have declined 7% because of new hunting seasons in Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming. Hmm. He spotted out. The northern spotted owl was listed as threatened in 1990 because of loss of old growth forest habitat to logging. Lawsuits led to establishment of millions of acres of reserves on national forests to protect the owl's habitat. Despite logging cutbacks, the owl has continued to decline by about 3% a year. Scientists have now identified the top threat to its survival as the invasion of the barn. Bar, barred owl. I thought it was barn owl. But barred, B A R R E D. Oh, barred is in like uh, stripes. Owl. B A R R E D. Correct. Because the barn, B A R N, are very cute. They they have a heart shaped face. They're adorable. Well, the barred owl is a more aggressive and adaptive cousin that migrated across Canada yeah. from the East Coast. I, I know the, the great horned owl is, I think, the, the largest. Or the snowy owl looks pretty big, too. Well, they are, they are uh, driving <laughs> the spotted owls out of their territory. Uh, the spotted owls uh, are competing with the barred owl, and the barred owl are, are invasive, and the spotted owl is is indigenous to the region. I understand. Last year, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service began an experiment to remove up to 3,600 invasive. Barred owls. Bald eagle. Oh, they're making a big comeback, man. They're doing great. The official symbol of the United States nearly became extinct through hunting. Wow. And the widespread use of the pesticide DDT. That's true. You see how, how greedy man is that they would have the stupidity to hunt something to extinction like they've done in history how stupid and stupid mankind that. is uh, 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 they're, the, the greed even like, like it's like fishermen commercial fishermen f totally fishing out of species they've done that with the cod the cod are, are the Atlantic the North Atlantic cod is in danger. Cod. cod. All over. All over the world? There is a decline in cod. Oh, is they it? have been overfished. So, 
if cod was plentiful, my cod liver, my mega cod liver oil capsules supposedly would, would cost be less, yes. cheaper. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Quote unquote. Uh, wait, wait. Alright, go ahead. Uh, from the use of pesticide DDT in 1963, there were just 417 of the birds documented in the nation. In 1963. More than $574 million was spent on the Eagles' recovery through 2007. The year its numbers reached about 10,000 mating pairs. In the lower 48, and it was taken off the list. It is still illegal to kill a bald eagle under a 1940 law by Congress. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mess with them. They're too beautiful. The, Why? Why kill them? The fish. And Wildlife Service says the bald eagle is now known or believed to be in all lower 48 states. They're Long to the last. They're in New Jersey. They're, they're definitely in New Jersey, and, and, and not, not just a little bit. They're, they're here, which is it's great for people to be able to see them. You know, they're, they're very beautiful animals. And uh, besides, the, the Bible says uh, it's unclean to eat a raptor. It is not considered a, a, a proper eating. Raptor. But why would you want to eat such a beautiful animal as the, the falcon or or any eagle, for that matter, or hawk? Well, most of the killing of like big species and these kinds of species, like killing a peacock, is why? Yeah, is eagle. Oh, look at me! I'm a big Macho, big game hunter. I'm a macho man. Oh yeah, like these, uh, like these macho men that used to camp out in the spring, waiting for the big grizzly to come out of hibernation. And as soon as they come out of the den, they blast. Pow! Pow! They blast them. That's really macho, man. You're a real man. Real hunter. You know, real even playing field there, right? The Caribbean hey. monk seal. Monk seal? Hey, little butterball. Hey, you just got up. Hey. In contrast, with success stories like the bald eagle. Hey, butterball. Some species protected through the act go extinct anyway. The Caribbean monk seal, which once swam the waters of, of Florida, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, was taken off the endangered species list in 2008 due to Tropical seal native to the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico wow. once numbered more than 250,000. I didn't know there was a seal. Okay. I didn't know there was a seal indigenous to the Caribbean. I gotta let Steve, the uh, black and white cat, out. That's no, what that's who I was calling a little, little butterball. butterball. Yeah, he's, he's one of the mousers. Yeah, he's pretty. Substantial. There you go. 
but over hunting left the population unstable. The last confirmed sighting was in 1952. I had no idea that there was a Caribbean seal. I thought they were like all in other parts of the world, but how about that? See how terrible it is for for greedy mankind to um, deprive people of seeing the original wildlife. You know, it's a shame. It really is. Um, there's always something on the internet. Some piece of shit individual was like lynching, lynching dogs, lynching dogs because he felt like killing them. How about the one that the girl was throwing the puppies into the river? Oh, and, 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 uh, was it CJ Adams says, oh, this is old. They, 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 they found somebody rescued the pups down river, so it, it, Why what? do you not stay drowned? What, I can swim? How is a, how is a pup that small going to tread water long enough? Where the hell is some guy that get a story like that? The guy, uh, the, the guy that's on my friend's list and Well, I'm, he's uh, that nut! telling me that the, the puppies, you know what, I'm going to bring that up, or, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll find the, the post, I'll type something under it, like, you know, um, William J. Eisman, what is your take on this? And you put something there, because how the hell could pups that small tread water in a, in a, in a fast-moving river and survive. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who who supports uh, uh, the cruelty of what happened to those puppies, this young this young lady, I'll use that term and loosely, and throwing a litter of puppies into the river. And whoever took Guilty by, by association is, is a, an accomplice in such an act. Yes. People like that should be tortured. <laughs> See how it feels for her to drown. Maybe waterboard her. I would waterboard her to death if the puppies died. Call him this Charles Krautheimer. Feels that it would be good strategy for Republicans to get out of female sexuality and its libido and concentrate on the horrors of late-term abortion. Horrors of late-term abortion. Which he defines as any abortion that occurs after 20 weeks. Now, is that really late-term? I'm not an expert on this. Well, 20 weeks is how many months? Uh, four, four weeks in a month. Eight, 16, five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First 
the ball, he is using the usual Republican frightening and sensationalizing technique in even opening the discussion. Late-term abortion is not a medical term, but it certainly is an emotional one. Speaking of emotional and, and children and babies, why don't the Republicans get upset over children that are already born starving or dying of disease? Or on world? food stamps, or which eat, they cut. Or, yeah, cutting food stamps on poor children in the United States. Why don't they get up in arms about that? Kids that are already born. Well, they don't like kids that are already born. Nah, apparently not. They unless like she, embryos and fetuses. That's um, it. Unless the, the baby has a silver spoon in their mouth when they're born. Oh, then, then we get them more money so that their potential uh, will even be better yeah. uh, than it uh, was uh, under their money that they already had. Yeah, yeah. aristocratic babies. Yeah, there you go. Late term abortion is not a medical term, it's an emotion. The definition of what constitutes a late term abortion is itself a controversy. Really? Some say 16 weeks, some say 20, some say 27. Why do women have abortions later in their pregnancy? The answers, according to Guttmacher Institute, <laughs> include youth, poverty, unemployment, difficulty in getting to an abortion provider, cost, lack of insurance coverage, health risks to the fetus, or to mama, and not knowing or accepting the fact that they are pregnant in the first place. So, where Crowdhammer calls for a ban on a procedure that is rarely used, I would like to suggest a much more female-friendly and sensible response. If we provided better sex education, access to contra contraception as mandated in the patient protection and affordable care yeah, act of public Republicans don't want Planned Parenthood. No. Chris Christie didn't, don't want it. Here in New Jersey. Uh, uh, insurance coverage and easy access to abortion clinics, there would be fewer women choosing to terminate a pregnancy after 16 or 20 weeks. So, if you don't have have this education and you don't have access to contraception the poor guess what republicans the poor are still going to get pregnant and 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 you want to outlaw abortion so they're going to have the babies and the republicans want the parent kids where is the money going to come from if the if the parents can't even support themselves uh don't they ever think long term? Well, no. You'll, they'll probably have to crawl and grovel to some uh, elite Republican uh, for some kind of a servile job or something. No, they'll. they'll and that's end, what they're hoping. They'll for. end up the the whole f poor family with the babies and all will end up homeless on a park bench, uh, then get arrested for vagrants and put into a privatized prison to work for free. Bingo, slave, slavery returns. Letting women control their own destinies is female friendly. 
When Republicans understand that, they might. They might get the female vote back. Yeah, well, they don't. None of these Republicans ever think long term. Well, they don't think about women. No, they don't like women. They, 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 their, their attitude is very, uh, what is it, misogynist? Second class citizens. Misogynist. Uh, yeah. Women are second class citizens, uh, barefoot and pregnant, and blah, blah, blah. And they, of course, they they don't like gays. They, they, don't, they don't like the poor. They don't like, there's a lot of things they don't like. Well, they just look at where they come from. White men. I hear that some of those uh, blonde fox babes, some of them the were babes. were never experienced uh, uh, being poor or never experienced anything. Uh, you know, they came from uh, well well to do families, uh, privileged families. Obviously, or else they them. are they are lacking. Oxytocin. Well, if you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, I think just psychologically, because yes. of your upbringing, you're not going to have any empathy or compassion. That's correct. Oxytocin or not, I think you're just not going to care. I think a great example of that. Black was Ayn Rand. Well, she was nuts. Exactly. How but did she, she had get no, to be? She had no feelings. How did she get to be so famous in history? That is a good question. Who, who was willing to? Pay serious attention to Ayn Rand to, uh, you know, some very uh, what we would call important people today, like Alan Greenspan, Paul Ryan. Of course, he never met her face to face, as no. Alan Greenspan did. Is, is that why uh, bastards like Milton Friedman were were? were recognized as being important. Milton Friedman got himself ensconced in the Chicago University yeah. and therefore promulgated his uh, ideas. I thought America, American academia was more or less liberal. liberal. That's what they said. That's what I thought. Um, but again, in those terms, when you hear that coming from a Republican, you can be sure that, that what they mean is, when they say liberal, they mean when somebody is saying something correct. They don't agree with it. Yeah, well, liberal, liberal becomes something other than correct, truth. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, a progressive liberal, when they open their mouth, they have facts to back them up. Yes, but Fox News has shown you, just as Dick Cheney showed uh, when they were in office, that the deficits don't matter, and the truth does not matter. To Fox News, because Fox says so. The tr truth does not matter, so why listen to Fox? <laughs> no, that's why you listen to Fox. Because you don't want to hear the truth. That's correct. So, so you get these, <laughs> you get the talking points, and you get the strategy, and everything yeah. uh, uh, from day to day. But you're, you're, wasting, you, you're wasting your time also. Well, yeah, but people come out of Harvard who can argue a point of view from to both sides. What the hell do they know? They obviously have no base, they have no truth, they have nothing ground, they have no core.
principles, etc. If you can argue a, a, a position from both sides and win, that means you have no ground, no it's like, core. It's like watching an, an old an old Bugs Bunny cartoon and believing that that's real life. That really happened. <laughs> that's all, folks. Or, or Foghorn Leghorn believe that all white, white white Leghorn roosters can talk. You know, I mean, you know, it, it's like ludicrous. It's like, it, it's a waste of time. Yes, but throughout history, we have had ludicrousness. I mean, we had gods all over the place. Romans and Greeks and these and that. Zeus and Thor and it. The You're talking people. about uh, pay, pay, you, well, Hinduism has thousands of gods, millions, and millions? Peace, yes, thirty million, and they devote that their people devoted their lives to these things. Are you talking about and the temples to Jupiter, gods, goddesses, and demigods? You know, yeah. So it's not, uh, it's not like something new because we have people who believe in fantasies that's what they are but today uh, they get to put these fantasies into politics that affect you and etc that's what the problem is today in the old days if you wanted to put something into effect, you had to be somebody like Julius Caesar or whatever. You had to go out and beat other people up and kill them and take over their land or something like that. But today, you just go on Fox News. I wonder how these uh, chicky poos on Fox News can say all these idiotic things with a straight face. Well, it's they amazing. do it's because amazing. every morning they get the talking points, and then they got to build their show around the talking points. If they don't, they'll soon be without a show. So they're like, um, it's like somebody reading a script for That's an great. acting role. That's correct. Okay, you will now portray this person. So study the lines, learn the lines, and uh, imagine yourself as this person with this story, and it could be a fiction. It could be based on a fiction novel and it's fictitious, and you're paid to act out the role, but it, it's not a real person. It's fake. Police! In Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, are warning residents of an increase in coyote sightings. That's true. There's coyotes in this part of New Jersey now. Saddlebrook has coyotes, which is like the next town over from us. And have asked residents not to leave food or garbage where wild animals can get at them. Once you do that, they, they go and tell all the other wily coyotes and say, Hey, uh, that guy over there, he leaves out food often. And then they start sticking around, and then more come. It reminds me of the in the old days when the hobos came to town, and they found somebody who would feed them or something like that. They'd put a, a certain thing on the, on the house or someplace for the old other hobos, when they come around, to know that these people take care of you. Well, cats get the word around, too. Feral cats. They'll go through the trash, bird feeders. They've been seen in wooded areas and backyards. Did you say bird feeders? That's correct. You mean they're omnivorous? Coyotes will eat birdseed? 
Maybe it's the feeders with peanuts in Penis? Peanuts! Oh, peanuts! not been a nuisance, but it's the same advice we give for bear sightings. Feed your pets inside, because what attracts these animals is the need to eat. They go where the food is. Well, they, they have to go look for food. Wild animals don't have food put in front of them so they'll smell the dog food outside and then they'll come over and try to harass your dog unless you got a big tough dog like you know you got a big German Shepherd or a Rottweiler or something and they'll take the coyote by the neck and break it you know but you know otherwise uh, Coyotes primarily hunt rodents and rabbits. But they will take advantage of whatever is available, including garbage. Easy, easy food. Well, the easier, the easier is always first priority to a wild animal. Pet food. Yeah. And domestic animals. That are left unattended. Yeah, if you have a um, if you have an, a pet that can be overtaken by a coyote, that's true. Um, they will uh, do it. Or hey, if seagulls have decided to come a little bit inland and hang out by fast food restaurants. Waiting for French fries to get, I guess, there's a lot of slobs will just throw things on the parking lot, you know. And they, if you see a coyote, the best way to move it along is to make loud noises. Or bash it over the head. The first documented sighting of a coyote in New Jersey was near Lambertville in Hunterdon County in 1939. Uh, a long, bushy-tailed <laughs> animal looking something like a police dog, but with the coloration of a Coyote population grew and spread through much of the state. Apparently, some people believe that the Fish and Wildlife Division brought coyotes into the state. The agency's website says that has never happened. Although there is evidence that private citizens throughout the state have done so. The coyote is a wild member of the dog family. It resembles a small German shepherd with the exception of its long snout and bushy black tipped tail. Another key difference from a domestic dog is readily noticeable even from a distance. The coyote has a 
has a habit of holding its tail below a horizontal position while standing, walking, and running. They don't, it's not up in the air wagging like a happy pooch, happy dog. Well, they're they're always looking for something, searching. They're trying to find something to eat. Well, a wolf. Well, they run in packs. I I think coyotes are solitary hunters. Ooh. I I I I highly doubt if coyotes are. a much bigger problem in New Jersey if coyotes were pack animals. Oh. Police so. are searching an Italian mountain area. Right. Beloved by Paul Pope Paul John Paul II for a stolen relic bearing his Vatican Radio decried the sacrilegious theft from tiny San Pietro della Lenca church near the Gran Sasso part of the Apennine Mountains, where John Paul used to hike. Military police said the relic, a bit of blood, soaked cloth, kept inside a painted metal cross, was last seen on Thursday in the church. John Paul died in 2005 and will be made a saint April the 27th. Oh yeah, so then what does that mean? When he's made a saint, that means he has, he's got power, powers? Power to lie in his grave like all of the dead people dead awaiting people? a so there's not going to be, they don't intercede for, for with prayers from humans? The dead, the Bible says. No intercession? No nothing. You mean they, they turn, the, wor the worms get them? The worms get them? The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out. Boom, they go to the boom, the boom. And they, uh, they decompose, and they rot, and they turn to dust, and they're awaiting resurrection. Yeah. Somebody told me uh, from the group, says that they, uh, they listen to your God project, and, yeah. and they, they, they believe in what you say, except the woman says, I still believe in heaven and hell. I noticed that the Reverend Dr. Bill does not recognize a heaven and hell. So they, they just picked and choose what they want to believe. Unfortunately, from you. he went off track. It is not I who say anything of that. Yeah. It is the Bible. So what they're doing... So what she said I do not believe in the Bible. So they're putting... Fine. End of conversation. So they're putting too much focus on the individual. Correct. As they did with Jesus himself. They turned 
the gospel into something about him. When the gospel is merely the message about the kingdom of God. Right, which is, doesn't that have have to do with the fact that they call it Christianity and named after Christ. Christ. And doesn't that take the focus off of a little bit the, the kingdom of God? It takes it off entirely. It puts it on it puts it on him right. as the person. Same thing with all these pictures of him. They call it. They call it a religion, Christianity. Yesterday on and, Facebook or Jude Judaism. Yesterday on Facebook, someone put up a picture of supposedly Jesus, and they said, "If you believe in Jesus, and then share and like it." And what, what is that? going to do when you share the image. This is a model who posed for the picture. Oh, like, 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 like somebody, <laughs> not in, Jesus. like somebody in, in the Hollywood movie, uh, an actor depicting Jesus. It's like if you took uh, an actor, Charlton Heston, who played, yeah, like if you took Charlton Heston playing Moses. And you had a picture of him dressed up like Moses, and you and people looked at that like it was Moses. Uh, I understand. But that's what the, according to the Bible, that's what the devil is, because the devil <coughs> does not want the world to hear about the kingdom of God because a kingdom has laws. What? A kingdom has laws. Yeah, they don't like that. The devil does not like those laws. No. Well, plus human, be human beings have a tendency to like things that are tangible, that are they can see and feel. Like a relic? Like a relic. Yeah. Like like a statue to light a candle under. A Saint Christopher statue on the dashboard of your car. Or a Saint Christopher medallion hanging from whatever, rear view mirror or something. Hanging They'll, from your dangling. They like to dangle. I mean they like to they like relics. They like something they can feel. You know, like they'll say, um, oh, in this uh, Russian Orthodox Church, the uh, the icon was crying. Tears were coming out of the, the image of this uh, icon of, you know, like... Um, Madonna. Yeah, the Virgin Mary or whomever. And... Uh, Tears or blood—it was bleeding. Or, or tears were running down her face, yeah. and then of course everybody flocked there, and ooh. we can't. Yeah, ooh, 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 yeah, carrying on, and it's uh, a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. An well, an icon in, in the Russian Orthodox Church is similar to a, a statue in the Catholic. Catholic Church. It's, well, uh, it, it goes back to ancient Israel, at least, and further back than that, but uh, while well, Moses was up on the mountain with the God himself, the people, the ancient Hebrews, made golden calves. They wanted something tangible. One golden calf. As their god. Yeah, they, they melted all the gold and they made a, a golden calf. Yeah. 
and they uh, they they didn't they they didn't want to wait that long for Moses to return. Uh, no, they didn't. And of course, they've been impatient with the golden calf. They started partying. Hey, hey. debauchery. Let's get the meat out, baby. I didn't say meat. They said yeah. mead. Yeah, so they they turned out the. Uh, well, they turned out their back on the very force that freed them from slavery, which is what people do now: turning their back on the truth, turning their back on, uh, uh, you know, what what's good, what they should be supporting. But it doesn't end; it goes on on and on. Human nature just goes on and on and on until the end. Especially in Republicans, yes, of course. Well, Republicans, uh, the, the God of Republicans is not, not Christianity. The God of Republicans is money. Money! That's their, their idolatry. And their that, church is the bank. Right, exactly. I mean, we saw that in 2008 with the bailout, did we not? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. The bailout went to the banks that should have been left to go bankrupt. Well, yeah, that's the way to crack. It was only the big banks on Wall Street that got the moolah. They mean the ones that were too big to fail? That's correct. Too big to fail. Well, uh, if you're too big to fail, you know what? You're too big. Big. It's too big. Period. Well, hey, the country of Iceland uh, did not feel that the banks were too big to fail. They were the crooked banks. Iceland did the right thing. Well, you yeah. that'll be the day America does the right thing. Okay. Have no, they're too damn corrupt in the United States. They're all on the take. Speaking of being on the take, and we do not know uh, uh, if that's the case or not, but I believe that the so-called Bridgegate scandal... I was waiting for a Chris Christie article. ...is nothing more than a character assassination of Governor Christie. Oh, poor little blimpy uh, balloon boy so we have an, a christy admirer here well we'll, we'll bitch slap this jabroni when you're done because he's the front runner for the republican presidential nomination and the biggest threat to hillary clinton who cares oh he don't like hillary the liberal media will do all it can to keep this issue alive. The liberal media. Fictitious liberal media. The longer it is an issue, the lower Christie will drop in the polls. It is the politics of personal destruction. He sounds like a teabagger. Ah, America, you're destroying America. He took our jobs. Hey, those, those doggone uh, immigrants take our jobs in America. In America. What a idiot. Oh, when you're done, mention the name of this jerk. If Christie were a Democrat, this issue would just fade into the woodwork. Well, hey, man, he's guilty. If he's guilty, if he's guilty. The gentleman's name is Bill. Bill Jerkoff? Timony. Timony? Timony. Bill Timony. Park Ridge, New Jersey. From Park Ridge, New Jersey, you need to grow some brain cells or uh, just simply... Um, hey, if he's a drinker, you know, one, mi one million uh, 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 brain cells. Or, uh, hey, that's one we... less... Re one less idiot to vote Republican if he drinks himself to death. <laughs> well, we don't know that. Well, you're you're definitely uh, 
an idiot and an asshole, uh, uh, Bill Timoney of Park Ridge, New Jersey. Well, Park Ridge is kind of a, a, a fancy town. Yeah, it's upper crust. Upper crust. So that means that if Bill Timoney is upper crust also, Bill Timoney uh, does not want to uh, pay his fair share in income taxes. <laughs> Thus, he will vote Republican. So, you are a douchebag, Bill Timoney. All right. Governor Christie's rebuttal reeks of amateurish desperation by bringing up how David Wildstein sued his local board of education when he was only 16 years old. And how he was publicly accused by his high school social studies teacher of deceptive behavior. He's desperate. Christie's desperate. Yeah. Resorting to things that happened in high school <laughs> clearly demonstrates that the administration is scared of what Mr. Wildstein may have to say. Well, I hope Mr. Wildstein goes wild. Not Hulkamania going wild, but Wildstein mania going wild. He says he will if he gets immunity from prosecution. Well, I'm yeah. I'm going to, um, it happened once before, but I'm going to send a blessing with my lucky shillelagh to Mr. Wildstein to get immunity. Well, we'll see because the attorney, the, 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 uh, the uh, attorney general is doing the investigation right now. Right. <clears throat> And it will go to uh, to any length to smear his image. I'm not buying in. Christie's thinking appears to be this guy was a loser in high school. He's untrustworthy. He's unhinged. And we didn't hang out. But I decided to appoint him to a $150,000 a year patronage post anyway. Oh, a crony, a uh, nice crony job, a hundred fifty grand a year. Gee. That, ain't, that ain't bad. Gee, I wonder what crazy things Christy did in high school. Hey, let's take it one step further. What did Christy do in elementary school? I think Wildstein should uh, dig up all the the hidden skeletons on. Chris Christie. If we're going to be petty enough... Well, he doesn't have the investigative uh, abilities that Christie's uh, administration does. I mean, if you're going to be... If Christie's going to be petty uh, concerning what Wildstein did in high school, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Mr. Christie... Christopher Crystal Christ... Fatso, Crystal, Crisco, Crispy Cream, Crisco, Crispy Cream, Crisco, Christie. He said in high school he was a jock. Wild Steam was a nerd. A uh, jock strap. What does that have to do with? Uh, he, he was the jock. The Truth versus and, the lie, and 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 so and and and, and uh, a very popular kid, while Wildstein was a nerd. Uh, well, I bet Christie was uh, the type in high school to uh, demand attention. <laughs> if he didn't get it, he he made sure he got it. Can you imagine him being a jock? I can. I can imagine him being a, uh, a hot air balloon. Yeah. But not a jock. Not a jock. 
<laughs> oh, oh, unbelievable! So that's it. We have it. Well, how are we doing on time? Uh, <clears throat> I'm one more here. One more. Okay. I disagree with the respondent who suggests that the record, that's our local big newspaper here, yeah, yeah. has been covering the George Washington Bridge lane closures and other controversial matters of Governor Christie's administration to excess. We should expect the record to report extensively on all crucial matters matters that affect our state, and the current numerous scandals that plague the current administration should be front and foremost for as long and as often as it takes to uncover every detail. Well, are they doing it? Um, or are they Christie friendly? They are not Christie friendly, but yes, there was a, there was an article about Christie today. Okay. So, uh, I believe they're keeping up with it. Like I say, we we are in a um, we are in a quiet period now with the uh, Attorney General doing his investigation. It's too early. Early to tell. Correct. Period. We have much to gather. There, there, there's much to gather, and there, there's probably even more to unfold as it comes in. Correct. All I know is, however, it's the most entertainment I've had all year, aside from doing watching Chris Christie sink deeper into. Quicksand is really pleasurable. It is. It is. It is nice when when the arc of truth bends backward and grabs Republican bastards in the ass. Yeah, karma. And but, 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 but especially since Chris Christie is a Republican poster boy, and incidentally, that's a real big poster to have him on. Uh, 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 uh. Since he is a favorite, uh, considering the fact that he seems to travel all over the country helping all Republicans. Uh, right now, he's raising money for it. Around the country. Well, we will watch him have a meltdown slowly, self-destruct, have a meltdown. Hopefully. Uh, I think um, Bill Clinton was in uh, Kentucky uh, campaigning for the uh, Democratic uh, uh, opponent for Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Adelson, I think her name was. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I do not live in Kentucky. Yeah, well, he was. He's out. He's there. He's out there uh, because you know well, this is 2014. And, and as far well, as I know, there ain't many Democrats in Kentucky. That's the problem. Ah. There's uh people that live in Kentucky. Uh, admit that they are liberals. Um. In a very red state, and there's a few vital people, very active people on the progressive discussions of Facebook page that are from Kentucky, and they are progressives in a religious nut right wing jerk teabagger state, and the idiots will continue to vote Republican. Unfortunately, but hopefully, uh, hopefully 
the Democrats will win more seats in the Congress and in the Senate. You know. Definitely the Senate because you're not going to get anything done. And, and, and if Obama tries to do things with executive orders, Robinson, danger, danger, dictator. Uh, maybe he has to uh, pull executive orders. After five years, he learned that because uh, the Republican Congress are are destroying America uh, uh, simply uh, simply for the fact that they they want to obstruct everything. Obama does. 47 votes to defund Obamacare. So the country is suffering by it. Right. You know, and uh, everything is pro-business, even if it, it hurts America, Republicans, Congress is for, of course. Well, we saw a cut in food stamps of $8 billion, but I saw no cuts at all in subsidies for Exxon Mobil and GE and all the other big corporations. Yeah, you're and right God about that. forbid we even talk about taxes for the rich. Ah. Oh, that, that, that's a big sin. Taxing the rich. Who are not the job creators? Because well, they are in third world countries and mainland China. Exactly. I got, I, I have Philippine Philippine uh, acquaintances and friends that tell me, yeah, the office jobs are in the Philippines, but they're paying chicken feed wages to those people. All the office jobs that used to be here in the United States, you know, uh, um, office jobs in general, uh, especially inbound call centers, customer service. Telemarketing. They're getting, yeah, telemarketing. They're giving them uh, 50 cents to a dollar an hour mm -hmm. with most likely no benefits. with Obamacare is grateful for it and um, very happy that they now have the full coverage including dental that they, they didn't have before. Last time I heard it was something like 9 million people have signed up. Something like that. Now there's still a lot of red states that, that refuse to allow the Medicaid extension of Obamacare and they're only hurting their own people and some of them are poor. The red, some of these red states are among the nation's poorest states. And guess what? They get more money back than the taxes they pay in. Yeah. All for spite and why? Because they most likely just don't want a black man in a White House. Yeah, but the other stuff has been going on for years and years. About their people. They, listen, these they red... They not give welfare and, and food stamps and the stuff that I need. Yeah, because the look, southern states. if you're a red state and you're among the nation's poorest, naturally you want the most help from Washington. But it doesn't get to the poor. I know that. Huh. I know that. But 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 how does how does their state improve if their people are getting more deeper to poverty? They're getting 
of the year. Well, obviously, they do not care about that section of the state, and that portion of the people. Uh, it's about them. Them. I heard the elites. I heard there's a lot of corruption surrounding the upcoming winter. Rogers ever since it went uh, capitalist, for God's sakes, has been a total corruption. Uh, this, uh, they were the hell were, were the hell were, were Ronald Reagan used to rant about. They were much better off as the Soviet Union. I think. I think so. What 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 Ronald Reagan and those people? Scared at war then. Mr. Gorbachev. What they used to say about the Russians and the ballistic missiles and etc. Yeah. How they're going to overtake us. And it was all a bunch of bullshit so that they could put more money into the defense budget. The Russians, the Soviet Union, never, never had the capacity. To do damage to the United States. Well, they did have the as far as the the, the missiles were concerned. No, they did have or the, their conventional. Force. Yeah, but wait a minute. The Soviet Union did have the warheads and the missiles. Very few. The United States, for God's sake, can, can destroy the world. Oh, so uh, uh, eighty times so, over. So the. The propaganda that the Soviet Union had many more warheads than the United States was a lie. Absolutely. So, and, and, and when they talk about propaganda coming from communist countries, in reality, is the United States is the king of the propaganda? False propaganda? I guess it's the biggest. The biggest for crying out loud. Most of everything we say and do it is, is propaganda and crap. Well, the American media it doesn't come clean uh, like the news on the internet does. Or the BBC. You get well, even the BBC got a little corporatist. I hear. A little. Yes. People in Great Britain tell me that they're, they're they sold it out too. But the internet is where. I get all of my real news from. You, you gotta know? watch the internet. Right? Huh? The internet is filled with. I mean, crap. There's reputable uh, news. Uh, you know, there are there are organizations that there are, are independent organizations. Who we, well, you know what it is. I'll give you an example. The uh, organization known as the Onion. They there's a lot of satire that comes out of the Onion that is portrayed as serious news. So people do not know it's satire, and you have to be a real sharp cookie to be able to uh, determine whether it's political satire or not. That's the Daily News, the Daily Show with John Stewart. Right. That's the same thing. But John Stewart is more comical when the onion puts it out. It looks but it's the same thing. You, see, yeah. you, you get to most people, politics, and religion and stuff, and the taboos, they have this wall. They have this wall. That you can't get through! But when it's comedy, the wall goes down. Because people, because people like to be entertained. You know? They like to be entertained. Like my, like my oh, friends yeah. that say, Yeah, yeah, you know we don't like politics. You know, we like, we just want to party and, and get laid. That's 
it's a uh, uh, Brian Slate, Tony Testosterone. He just want to get laid and party. Well, you know what? I bet a lot of people in, in the United States feel that way. A lot of them do. That's why they, they, the people in, they, in, in the Congress get away with what they get away with. There's no watchdogs. Nobody's and the people are forgiving, like I said the, the oh. earlier in the show. So, they would be bitter and, 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 and that stupid guy with the, the, the law, the, 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 the la large stance in the, in the bathroom there when he was trying to pick up gays and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, they, they forgive them. Nobody is holding their feet to the fire. Schweiker, etc. They're forgiving to them. Yeah, but what if, uh, what if a progressive liberal did something? No, they're wrong. not forgiving then. Then they're not forgiving. No, they're not. One on their own. Yes. It's like a, it's like a corrupt kangaroo court. You know, it's like, uh, you know, you you they give you a trial, but you know the outcome when when it preconceived. Begins, it's preconceived. <laughs> like the witches. Like the witch hunt. They had a trial, but the trial was mean nothing for the accused. Yeah, if you drown or float, you're guilty. No matter what. <laughs> you're a witch, witch. You're a witch. You're a witch. <laughs> well, in terms of the, the, the ladies uh, on, on Fox News, that, that is true. You're a witch. <laughs> witch. Uh, anyway, th thank you for joining us for progressive discussions. That's it, right, guy? right, right, buddy boy. Uh, we'll see you next time, and hopefully, uh, this uh, polar check, out, check out Facebook. This check out the news. Check out check the out. newsletter, newslettercensor.com. Check out progressive discussions on the internet on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure if you went to Google and you just typed in progressive discussions, come up with something. I have a feeling a lot's going to come up on the first page. Uh, if not, type in Mega Life 21 progressive discussions. But I think it'll come up. Uh, just like newsletter censored will come up. And the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's name. My name, James P. Madonna, no matter how you shake it, it's going to all come up. <laughs> like shaking, shaking, a shaking a bottle of beer and then trying to open it up. It, it'll all come up. Oh. Anyway, is that what Ron Jeremy used to say, too? Ron Jeremy said, they asked him, why are you so fat? Because he's a fat fuck. He's no, he said because he discovered food. That's, is that is the, Chris Christie should say that? Chris Christie. Is, I, I don't think he's lost any more weight since the first thirty pounds. He. They showed a picture of him when uh, he first broke into. Uh, he first became a lawyer, and uh, he was much thinner, and he had a face like, it's like if you took a basset hound, and, and you crossed it like with the, uh, the Gerber baby on the baby food. He had this uh, the puckery, ch cherubic, with, with, with they sad sack, basset hound look. You know, it's, even when he was young, he had that look. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, oh. but he was he was thinner then, and then uh, maybe he realized what he really was, and he got fat. But anyway, we'll see you next time. I'm, I'm
aggressive discussions, of course. Of course. Of course. Ugh. Say say goodbye to these people, please. Goodbye, people.